you guys, Pitbull Torres here with another video. So today I'm going to talk about my deload week. What is deload week? You know, I get a lot of messages. What is deload week? Pretty much I train for four weeks as hard as possible, heavy, around 87 to 90%. And then on the fifth week, I have a deload, which is I'm not going to lift anything more than 50% of my one rep max. So today we got a close grip bench, got a lot of back accessories. So pretty much for my bench, I'm not going to go anything over two plates, maybe max like 255, something like that. It's just another week to give your body some rest because not every week you're going to keep on progressing, progressing, progressing. Like when you're young, like definitely, you know, when you're like in the high school age, like, you know, 15 to like 18, you know, each week or every day you go to the gym, you're not be able to put five, 10 pounds on. I was that same way. But then a lot, you'll get to a point where you just can't recover no more. So. Like I said, try it out. Train hard for four weeks, pretty much like a whole month. And on that fifth week, you give yourself a deload. So just don't lift as heavy. Um, you can still do your accessories, high reps, get the blood flow. And that's what today's about. We're gonna get a good pump, get some good uh, blood flow in the muscles, but just kind of give um, our body a rest, mainly our nervous system. Um, because like I said, we can't be going heavy all the time. So let's get it. All right, guys, so today I got 275, the heaviest I'm gonna go. I got three sets of five. Just focus on the technique. Just like that. What do you got? Two plates? Or you go a little bit more? Uh, I'll go 245. Was that a 10? Yeah, 10. That's still be fucking up here on my fingers and shit. What? Right, you added the waist on every line. It's never good at math, man. Five? Yeah, five. Man, I feel like I'm getting a pump like really fast. It's because I got body work probably, that's why like all of this blood flows. Three, two, one, reach. Good. Yes, sir. Check out the new shorts. Um, I got like two more different colors, black and green. Nate's got his on too. He got some new shorts. Yes, sir. What color you call those? Like a teal. These are just like light silver. Light silver. We got there the teal go. boys too. Last set right here for me, we got 275 again. My favorite part about D-Low Week is just like, kind of more focusing on the accessories because when you're on program and you're doing like this as heavy as possible, like you get so drained. So by the time you get to the accessories, it's like, you're kind of like over it just because you're all tired and shit. So at least now I'll have more like energy and shit. So I'll focus a lot like on more of my back, my rear delts, stuff like that. Snow. I felt the best, honestly. Been warmed up. Back to back to back. So we finished close grip bench. So now we're on to chest supported rows. If you guys watched my last video, I follow the Juggernaut app, and it shows me what I got to do. Got chest supported rows, three sets of 12 to 15 reps. We got some dumbbell lateral raises, skull crushers, 
some curl is about to get a pump right now this is where the fun part happens so let's get it these are my chest supported rows i'm gonna give you like a little tip so i used to do these like this all the time so i'll come right here and i would just keep them close and keep them this pull right here but i just i don't know i've been past like month i've been trying to go and opening them out because that's more like how I would, I would do it on a bench press so i want you to think about like you pulling in your bench press on the bar so i'm right here pulling down the bench press pulling it back just keeping it more wider and it's been lighting up my upper back way more and i feel the help in my bench press so i'm gonna keep on doing it this way because i've already been doing it years this way so i'm gonna try to build more wider upper back right here and it's a lot harder so you might need to drop down and wait it's in the nails too yeah you're a delt <sighs> <sighs> Just make sure you're going wide. I, I have clients, I make them do the same thing and they'll go like this. See, this is more rear delt. You wanna go wide and back, wide and back. <sighs> Woo! Shit lights me up. Yeah, just like, just like how a bench press would be like in here. Remember, you don't wanna be too in here. So it's more like open up. Your elbow should be like right here. There you go. <sighs> But as much as you can, try holding it up at the top. I know it's really hard, but yeah, there you go. It's ripping. Nice. Oh, that shit burn. That shit burn. <laughs> Couldn't hold them last ones. Right. So I gotta, I, when you're doing them, I gotta get you pulling more like you're you're thinking more like from your wrist. Which I'm with this okay? uh -huh. Just like so I can show you. So like when you're doing them, think about like when you go back. See so like my my hands like uh it's like stat it's like perpendicular right mm -hmm. here. You're you're going and it's Turn like it's like this like you it. it's like you're going right here. Like I'm doing flies. Yeah. yeah don't okay. don't just think about like with your elbows thing about going just back and see how they're going a little bit back uh -huh. but you're going like you're pulling up like this down. i think you're thinking like your wrist going back like that yeah. just think about more like i always say like a puppet like a puppet's pulling your fucking elbows and your hands are just obviously sticking to the weights instead of going more yeah. you're just kind of like going up with the wrist uh, but yeah try to go like just go down it's like just shit super 25 is fucking heavy What you got going on here? What you doing over here? Arts and crafts time. Arts and crafts. <laughs> <laughs> you taking my time with this shit? Color that shit in or something too. I ain't never uh, drawn this good before. <laughs> crafts in the gym. That's how Rare Breeze do it. Fuck art class. You do everything in the gym. Bro, art class was hard in high school. I remember low key. I ain't even have art class in high really? school. Really? <laughs> oh. God, I'm doing some crazy shit. All right, now we got moving on to skull crushers, barbell skull crushers, old school right here. Ain't, ain't nothing. See, like all these people on Instagram and shit be doing crazy, like weird tricep exercise. Got to stick to the basics. Close grip. Keep elbows tight right here. Come to the back, to the top of your head, your skull. Straight back up. High reps, 20 reps. <laughs> Shit hurts your elbows, man. I'm getting old, I gotta lube up the joints. Shit. That all right here, dog. My my uh look at my thing i gotta use my finger to tie in this allen wrench right here because <laughs> i keep on forgetting to bring an allen wrench in here 
It just keeps on coming loose. I think it's stripped. Can't really. Stack up. This is how you get, get money right here. Everyone always says, what is getting money in? Right here. Adding more money. say the first two sets be hurting my elbows like just gotta get them lubed up get some blood in there and then it feels a lot better Nate said he wasn't gonna go up but now this way up here got so he's gotta go up stay lubed up it, right? uh, all right. gotta hit it up oh <laughs> yeah, that's money <laughs> I got 20 in me though This is like a C note, right? Here. This is like a hundred dollar bill. Damn. This is like a, you know, like a little twenty dollar bill. So, you know, gotta stack that money. You trying to have a muscle pop off the skin? <laughs> ah, damn. Uh. There you go. Damn, this is good. You don't want to chalk up, baby. Gotta chalk up. Baby, that's how you gotta get the strong triceps. Damn, that killed me. Now we gotta do some arms, and that's it. Oh, we curl this in the backyard. Damn, that shit's heavy. curling that shit's hard times i alternate from i gotta do biceps sometimes i do the free weight i'll do a lot of hammer curls um sometimes i just like i just want to switch it up i want to do some type of cable because the weight just i don't know it's just good to switch it up so these are this is pretty much like doing a hammer curl you're gonna do a rope start from the bottom the biggest thing though keep your elbows in and then when you come up twist your pinkies come back down twist the pinkies right there Ooh. 
Woo. Just like that. Ooh, that shit like the quads up. Hey guys, just finished up the deload workout. Today we talked about pretty much what is a deload. I get asked a lot, you know, what is a deload? How heavy do you lift on a deload? So we went over that, focus on accessories. That's what I tell you guys when I'm on a deload week, I really focus on my accessories. And also too, this is a perfect opportunity to get like really good body work, like deep tissue, because you're not gonna be straining yourself a lot. So it's a time you could really get deep tissue because actually when you get deep tissue work, it actually gets you sore. So you don't wanna be sore before lifting heavy. So. Um, perfect opportunity during deload week. Make sure you're getting some type of body work. But uh, yeah, that's it today. Hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys later.